the profit from the sale of X units of radiators for automobiles and Y units of radiators for generators is given by the function P of XY equals negative X squared minus Y squared plus 8X plus 10Y. We're supposed to find values of X and Y that lead to a maximum profit if the firm must produce a total of nine units of radiators. So remember the formula that we're working with here. We're going to use the Lagrange formula, which says capital, capital F X Y is the original function minus lambda times a constraint function. Now this time they don't give us our exact constraint. We have to formulate it ourselves. It's from the second sentence. Find values of X and Y that lead to a maximum profit if they must produce a total of nine units. So look, X plus Y has to equal nine. So our constraint formula equal to zero is x plus y minus nine equals zero. That makes our Lagrange formula f of x y equals minus x squared minus y squared plus eight x plus ten y minus lambda parentheses x plus y minus 9. So that's minus x squared minus y squared plus 8x plus 10y minus lambda x minus lambda y plus 9 lambda. In the next step, we need to take the first order partial derivatives with respect to x of xy, with respect to y, and with respect to lambda. So with respect to x, that means x is a variable, everything else is a constant. That's going to be a minus 2x, because that's the derivative of minus x squared. That's a constant, so that's a zero, plus eight. That's a constant, so that's a zero, minus lambda. That's a zero, and that's a zero. In terms of y, negative two y, eight x would be a constant, so that's a zero, plus 10, because that's the coefficient of y, minus lambda x would be a constant, minus lambda, and then 9 lambda would be a constant, so that's a 0. In terms of lambda, x squared would be a constant, that's a 0. Minus y squared would be a constant, that's a 0. No lambda there, it's a constant. No lambda there, it's going to be minus x minus y plus 9. Now, to solve this, we set each one of them equal to 0, negative 2x, plus 8 minus lambda equals 0, negative 2y plus 10 minus lambda equals 0, minus x minus y plus 9 equals 0. So we've got to solve, we've got three equations, three unknowns. I notice that both of these have a minus lambda, so look minus 2x plus 8 equals lambda, minus 2y plus 10 equals lambda, and since these are both equal to lambda, I can set them equal to each other. Negative 2x plus 8 equals negative 2y plus 10, and so I'll make that negative 2x plus 2y by adding 2y to both sides and subtracting 8 from both sides, I get that equal to 2. So look, I now have negative 2x plus 2y equals 2, and I have negative x minus y equals negative 9, because I moved this 9 over, 
And look, I've got two equations with two unknowns. If I multiply the bottom one by 2, I can get my y's to cancel out. So that's going to be negative 2x plus 2y equals 2. That's my first equation, unchanged. And then negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 18. That's because I multiply all these by 2. When I add those together, I get negative 4x. The y's will zero out, right? And then it's going to be equal to negative 16, so x is equal to 4. Once I know what x is, I can go back and I can find y from here, okay? Um, any of these that have just x and y. So let's see, let me just put it in this first one here that you see. Minus 2 times 4 plus 2y equals 2. Negative 8 plus 2y equals 2. If I add 8 to both sides, that would be 2y equals 10. So y equals 5. So now I know x is 4 and y is 5. So x stood for the radiators for the automobiles, and y, which is 5, is the number of radiators um, for the generators.